Hey everybody, Anthony Hunkler here with MagnaShade, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the proper way to install our product, MagnaScreen, for your automatic awnings. Let's get started with some of the things that you are going to need. First off being a microfiber towel with some rubbing alcohol to get the awning nice and clean, followed by the paper template which we supply, as well as tape, and the magnets that we also supply. All right, now that we have all of the necessary components to complete the installation of this magnet screen, we're gonna go ahead and show you an optional step. And that would be spray painting the magnets a different color. That way they match the awnings that are on the coach. Now, most of you guys have a coach with black awnings, but in the case that you have one that's a white or a silver or a green, whatever it may be, um, we're gonna go ahead and take some spray paint. And the one that I'm gonna use is an automotive paint. And I'm just gonna simply spray paint the magnets, let them dry, and then we can get started with the installation process. All right, now that we've completed the previous step, let's go ahead and locate that paper template. And this is crucial for actually placing the magnets. What this is, is a reference of where the magnets need to be placed on your awning. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now that we've successfully taped the paper template to the face of the awning, let's go ahead and start placing some magnets. And to make your life a lot easier, I highly recommend that you grab a metal cookie pan or something that's metal to hold those magnets down. Uh, if you don't, you could run the risk of having those magnets stack on top of each other. And that makes it a very uh, difficult process to get them separated. So like I said, really recommend that you grab something metal to put them on it just makes life a lot easier uh, with that being said what i'm going to do is work one magnet location at a time placing the magnet to ensure that it is square in the cutout as well as level and then i'm going to put a lot of pressure on the magnet and this is super important because the adhesive is pressure activated and we just want to get a nice bond uh, with the adhesive to the awning face so take your time one by one, and you'll have a successful installation. Alright, that does it for the installation of the magnets. Let's go ahead and show you how to get the shade on the awning as well as show you how it detaches itself from the awning in the event of an automatic closure.
One of the unique features about this product is the fact that it detaches from the awning in the event of an automatic closure. The way that we achieve this is by including a cord that's attached to the shade, which will be staked down or tied down. And as you just saw right there, once the awning starts to close, it creates enough tension to release that shade from the awning, allowing it to close properly. Now, with that being said, we do not supply the anchor that you guys will need uh, for this to happen. The reason why is we just do not know where you'll be at around the country or what your campsite will look like. So whether you are on crush and run, desert land, or poured concrete, that will require a different type of anchor. And we just highly suggest that it's something strong enough or heavy enough to allow the complete release of the shade from the awning. So whatever that may be, just test it out a few times, ensure that it's working properly, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about what you saw today, or if you're interested in a magnet screen for yourself, please feel free to call us at 336-753-0905. Also, don't forget to go to our website, magnashade.com, M-A-G-N-E, shade.com, and keep up with where we'll be at around the country traveling to various events. We look forward to seeing you then.